news outside of the White House this morning. It was about two hours ago when we learned of a large fire and EMS response on the east side of the White House. Brianne Carter joins us now live with what she's learned. Brie? Well, good morning to you. Certainly still a very strong security presence that we've seen just within the last half hour here on the roads outside of the White House. Now, this after the White House press secretary confirming to us that, in fact, a device was found here on the White House grounds. Now, the press secretary not elaborating anymore, and we are working on unconfirmed reports right now that perhaps it was some sort of possible drone that may have been found. But again, that unconfirmed at this hour. Now, the White House press secretary saying that immediately there does not seem to be any immediate threat to those here at the White House. Now, if you take a look at some video, you can certainly see that large response that happened here just about 3.30 this morning, a number of fire and EMS responding here to the White House grounds. And at one point, our cameras here on the scene capturing a large pole that they brought in here to the grounds of the White House as part of this response as well. Now, as you know, the president and first lady not here. They're still continuing that trip overseas. The question whether or not the two daughters were here at the time. That question has not been answered at this point. We do understand Secret Service is still investigating this. Within the last hour, we had seen some of those members of Secret Service and other law enforcement going through here the lawn with flashlights here outside of the White House as part of this investigation. Again, still ongoing after the press secretary confirming that, in fact, some sort of device was found here early this morning. Reporting live, Brianne Carter, ABC 7 News.